everybody and welcome to Jeff the Pharmacist. It is great to have you here. It is an honor to have you here. I want to thank you guys for um, tuning in. Uh, so today I want to talk about uh, Victoza. So Victoza is a um, is a type 2 diabetes medication. It's something called a GLP-1 agonist. So GLP-1 is just a hormone in the body. What that hormone does is it, is it increases the amount of, pain, uh, amount of insulin coming from the pancreas. Um, and actually the, the drug itself was, well this class of medication was actually developed from the saliva of the Gila monster. The Gila monster has saliva that has a hormone just like GLP-1, um, but when, when that was injected, it, it actually lasted a lot longer. If you take human GLP-1 and you inject it, the body destroys it very quickly, digests it. So the, the hormone that you're kind of producing um, naturally would just be digested. Um, but this hormone from the saliva of the Gila monster actually produced a more prolonged effect. So that's kind of why we have um, Victoza. And GLP-1 is good because, um, or Victoza is good because it causes increased insulin to be secreted from the pancreas, but at the same time, um, it responds to the amount of glucose in the blood, so if that gets too low, it doesn't keep pumping out as much insulin. Um, it is still possible to get hypoglycemia with it, um, especially if it's added to um, other medications. Uh, that can be, hypoglycemia can occur. So I just wanna talk about what Victoza um, has to offer what they basically what they basically are offering. Um, so if you look at the the clinical trial, and it was a 52 week clinical trial. Um, they saw that the mean or the average A1C went down about one um, about one point. So I'll show you the um, the chart here. If you look at the Victoza 1.8 milligram uh, group in the 52 week trial. Uh, it took the A1C, which was a baseline of 8.2, so that's kind of what the average that everybody had was, was 8.2, um, down to, uh, it lowered it by 1.1. And they compared that to the 1.2 milligram group, which lowered it by 0.8. And they have a handy little chart here. They also looked at glomeparide, which is something called an insulin secretagogue. Basically, that means that it, it also increases um, insulin production, but glimepirate has kind of a side effect of causing hypoglycemia um, much more than Victoza. Now these two drugs that they were given together, they could increase the chance of having uh, by a lot more chances of hypoglycemia. Um, so you, you, you see here the Victoza group is 1.8 milligrams and 1.2 milligrams. That's not where people usually start. They usually start at 0.6 milligram, and that is because of um, a side effect. It causes nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and that's because of something called delayed gastric emptying. So what that means is that food kind of stays around in the stomach longer. So it's a double-edged sword because uh, that causes more that causes more side effects like. Um, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, but on the other side it causes people to feel full longer and it can lower um, people's weight a little bit. So I'll show you the, the kind of what the average weight loss was. So people started out at about 92 kilograms which is about 200 pounds or 200 plus pounds, about 202, and it looks like they dropped weight in the 1.8 milligram group dropped weight about five five to six pounds um and then in one the, in the 1.2 milligram group it was a little bit less it was um a little under five pounds so it does cause some weight loss which is usually good for um type people with type 2 diabetes and that is actually the basis of another of another product called saxenda so they took the active ingredient in victoza and they um, changed it, changed the dosing around, and called it Saxenda. And Saxenda is actually a weight loss drug. Um, so besides nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, and you can see um, in this chart, 28% uh, 
of people experienced nausea. So that is a lot more than um, they compared it to glomepiride. That's a lot more, a lot more diarrhea, a lot more um, vomiting. And other side effects here are upper respiratory tract infection, headache, influenza is one, UTI, dizziness, uh, sinusitis, nasopharyngitis, back pain, and hypertension. Um, and there is also a black box warning on the drug for uh, cancer risk. Um, and I made a video about that because I, I made a video about, I think, Saxenda and it People want to know about the, the cancer risk, so I did make a video about it. But there's a black box for thyroid C cell tumors. And there was, in the clinical trial, there was actually some thyroid C cell tumors. So the black box uh, says, uh, Victoza causes thyroid C cell tumors at clinically relevant exposures in um, rodents. It is unknown whether Victoza causes thyroid C cell tumors, including medullary thyroid carcinoma in humans, as human relevance cannot be determined by clinical or non clinical studies. So, thyroid tumors did show up. Um, what they're talking about in rodents is they injected like uh, really high doses in rodents, and they did find that uh, they developed uh, thyroid cancer. It says Victoza is contraindicated in patients with a personal or family history of MTC or in patients with multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome, type 2 or MEN2. And um, so that's basically the uh, black box warning. Again, I made a video about it, kind of discussing it in more detail. Um, so there were four cases of thyroid C cell tumors in this, um, in this clinical trial compared to one in the non-Victoza treated um, group. So that's why it was uh, a concern along with, um, because they could, they could reproduce this in rats. There was also six cases of a different kind of thyroid cancer called papillary thyroid cancer. And there were six cases of those um, compared to one in the non, uh, in the non-Victoza group. So that was 1.9 versus 0.6 cases per 1,000 patient years. Um, another issue that um, that I did briefly discuss was hypoglycemia. So hypoglycemia is still possible, especially with other um, diabetes medications. The most um, anything that would increase insulin would be the kind of the the worst one, like um, glomepiride or glyburide. These are called the insulin secretagogues or sulfonylureas. Um, there's another weird side effect that occurs with um, Victoza or similar medications to Victoza, and that's called immunogenicity. So some of these drugs that are protein-based, they're basically long proteins. Um, what they can do is they, the body will develop a immune response to them, but it's different than an allergic response. It's basically the body just attacks it, um, um, takes that out, like destroys the destroys the medication in the body, so it would wouldn't be able to really be effective. Or they didn't really study whether it would be effective or not, but it makes sense that it wouldn't be because the body just is chewing it up. But it's not a an allergic reaction. Um, allergic reaction is also possible with any medication, including Victoza. Those are emergencies. Um, you can get uh, swelling of the mouth and tongue and throat trouble breathing, dizziness, confusion. Those are all um, allergic reactions that are possible. Um, but the Im immunogenicity is something you might not know about. And they studied people's blood and they found that in the 52 week trial, 6.9% of them had positive antibodies to Victoza. And in the 26 week trial, it was 4.8%. Now they didn't test for clinical, if there was a clinical, you know, some kind of a skewing because of that, like people that tested positive for antibodies had low, you know, worse A1C level lowering or anything like that. But um, it's obviously not good. Um, and uh, just to let you know that when I made this video, there's still a savings card and I will link to the savings card. And there's also a patient assistance program for people who, um, 
I guess you could say can't afford it. I mean, if you have to pay cash for it, it's really difficult to afford. But if your insurance doesn't pick it up, or there is something called a, a patient assistance program. Um, I, th I think it's based on like income level and stuff. So you might not qualify if you're, you know, too high of an earner, I guess. So I hope you guys found this interesting. Um, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, please like the video if you liked it. Uh, please subscribe. It would, it would be great. It would be an honor to have you as a subscriber. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thanks a lot.